also at five, we'll see how Chicagoans are coping with the blast of Arctic air that's put the city in a deep freeze. And a suburban woman rummages in her freezer to, for the souvenir of a Chicago winter 20 years ago. That story and much more at five, Joe Linda. Sports is up next for us. The Illini let one get away to the Purdue Boilermakers down in West Long. It's a preview of what's coming up on Eyewitness News at 6 o'clock. Joan, the Chicago Fire Department and the Firefighters Union have agreed on drug tests. Old, perhaps you're not taking all the facts into consideration, especially a few historical facts. Frank Matthew hasn't forgotten, and he shares some memories of a Chicago winter that'll warm your hearts, even on a day like this. It's our first real cold blast of the season, but it shouldn't depress us because sometimes cold weather this time of the year is better than warm. Just think back to 1967. Now, the reason I want you to think back two decades is because 20 years ago today, it was 59 degrees. 20 years ago tomorrow, 65 degrees. 20 years ago Sunday, 54 degrees. And then 20 years ago, the coming Monday, it hit. It, the blizzard of 1967. It was a two-day blizzard. On January 26th, 16.4 inches of snow fell. The next day, on the 27th, we were hit with another 6.6 .6 inches. It added up to the worst blizzard in Chicago's history, 23 inches of snow. The city was shut down. Streets were clogged with stalled vehicles. It took weeks for Chicago to return to normal winter conditions. For most of us, the blizzard of 67 is just a memory. We don't have anything real to hang on to. But for Marie Sebastian of Park Ridge, well, she has a very solid remembrance of our biggest snowstorm ever. Marie has that frozen souvenir in the bottom of her basement freezer. It's been stored away all these years. It says, Great Snow, January 26th, 27th, 1967. 20-year-old snow. It's a little bit frozen now, but you'd be frozen too if you were 20 years old. <laughs> in a freezer. In a freezer. <laughs> Why did you do this? Well, I'd like to say that uh, I'm a... Uh, uh, collector of history rather than a pack rat or anything else. So back into the bottom of the freezer it goes until another time. That frozen memory of two incredible days in our history, the blizzard of 67. Frank Matthew, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. Well, Floyd was on a train on his way to New York. I was caught in the snowstorm here on the Outer Drive. The question is, where was Joan Esposito? I was in grade school where <laughs> I belong. I'm sorry I asked. That's our news. Good night. <laughs>